How are we doing today, folks? This is Jim, your product expert with uh, Water Pumps Direct, coming to you with another Q&A video for your viewing pleasure. Uh, today, we're going to talk about uh, convertible jet pumps, get a little more in-depth with those pumps, uh, a little more detail on how they work, what the main difference is between those and other well pumps. Uh, the biggest thing you're going to see on a convertible jet pump, the biggest difference is they're going to have two holes coming at the front of the pump for your suction line. Um, on your, on your standard shallow well, there's only going to be a single line. On your deep well pumps, obviously, those are going to be submersible, so those are just dropping down in your well. Um, so the main difference here is going to be between, really, your shallow well uh, pump and these convertible jet pumps. Uh, if you look at the diagram down here, you'll see the two lines coming off of there. When you prime these pumps on a, on a convertible jet pump, you, only, you not only have to prime the whole housing or the whole front portion of the pump, but you also have to make sure that those both those drop pipes are filled with water as well too. Reason being, when you start pumping water on that, it's pumping water through the one pipe. It's usually the smaller diameter pipe. goes through that pipe, goes down into your, your injector and your venturi, which is going to be down in your well down here. That creates the suction pulling through your venturi and coming off your drop pipe, which is then converted to a single pipe going down into your well. That venturi creates the suction coming out of that single pipe going down into your well with your foot valve. That starts pulling the water out of your well and back through your return or your suction pipe, which is a thicker uh, diameter pipe, to allow for that water, that extra water to come through there and pull that through your through your well. Um, so that's basically the way, they, that, the way that pump works. Um, you have to have usually a minimum four inch well casing for these two pipes to work and run through that well. It's typically a three quarter or one inch uh, drive pipe and a one and a quarter inch usually on the, um, the suction pipe coming through, coming back to the pump. Um, so again, when you consider all the outside diameter of the piping, you're gonna need at least a four inch well casing to do this. Um, you know, they're gonna work just like any other pump. Um, they're you're gonna need a jet assembly to attach down into the well to those two pipes. Um, if you're running shallow well, and if you've got a well that's got a suction lift less than 25 feet, um, sometimes these pumps are a better option. You can get a little, maybe a better flow rate in the middle, a bit pre better pressure with these pumps. So you can always attach that jet assembly right to the front of the pump and run a single pipe down into the well. So again, it depends what you're doing, what the application is. Um, a lot of the pumps that we offer on the convertible jet pumps will come with that jet assembly, and some of them do not. So when you're looking at these pumps, make sure you check the product page and the specs and features on these pumps to make sure what you're getting. Because, again, not all these pumps, like, example, this Grunfoss pump shown up here, does not include the injector uh, or the jet assembly, as they call it. That is an extra charge, an extra piece. Uh, and sometimes pumps have multiple heads, or, or I'm sorry, multiple jet assemblies, depending on what your total suction lift is going to be. Again, the lift from the water surface or the maximum water surface to the inlet of the pump on the suction side, um, depending on what that is and what your requirements might be, they may offer one or two or three different options for a jet assembly. Um, again, these can pull water from a well, from any other water source, you can do a cistern, a pond, a lake, whatever it can be, uh, supplying water to your home, sprinkler system, or just transferring water. Um, you know, but that's that's really the gist of how these pumps work. So hopefully that helps you a little bit more with convertible jet pumps and understanding their role in, uh, in well pumps. Uh, if you have any other questions, definitely give me a call or shoot me an email. Check out our website, waterpumpsdirect.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. So until next time, you all have a great day. Take care now.